Good morning, Luke with Premium Aquatics, your friendly neighborhood aquarist and scientist. Today, we're looking at the AI Prime Fugue LED. Chlorophyll is mostly a pigment. Most chlorophylls are green in color, which means chlorophyll can accept all colors except for green, which it will reflect the color green, which is why most algaes look green. Um, no, I, I got nothing. Listen, <laughs> I'm not a scientist. I can't pretend to be one. I don't know everything there is to know about plants and algae. I know the basics, photosynthesis and all that good stuff. But basically what we want to utilize to make algae grow in our system, especially those macroalgaes like Cato, uh, Calerpa, if you're dangerous, uh, you know, those ulvas, those sorts of things that you want in your refugium to help export those nutrients need chlorophyll. And most of that is going to be the spectrums that are into the reds and down into the blues. So when we look at the AI Prime and a few other LEDs that you might be taking a look at for a few uh, refugium lights, it's going to be just that. Uh, we are heavily with reds, deep reds, a UV in the center, and two cool whites on the back. Uh, so we are heavy in the red spectrum and in the blue. So, and just a touch in the white. And so this is a really great light for your refugium and for your macroalgae. So uh, if you're looking for something or been considering it, take a look at this. This is a great unit. Uh, we're gonna open it up, take a look at it, and uh, go over a little bit of the setup for it and what we can do with this. So let's open it up. Let's take a look. I'm excited to get this on the system, on the sump, obviously, because this is a fugue refugium light. Uh, it is specifically for refugiums, not for tanks. So I'm excited to have this on there and for good reason. This weekend, going down to Indianapolis to the shop, I'm going to pick up not one, but two fish designer clownfish that my daughter picked out. Super excited to have something in the system, probably pick up some snails as well, just to help with the, the algae that's starting to bloom. But I'm also getting algae. Um, I think all of the lettuce and a couple others that I'm gonna be getting, putting it in the refugium to help with exporting nutrients. Um, now with the fish and getting uh, you know more and more here, it's gonna be really cool to have that in the system. I actually really like algae, so uh, it's gonna be fun to have that in the system. Um, so I wanna get this on there so we have a light to help make those grow and do the best in my system possible. So we're gonna open that up. Real quick note on the JBJ. Uh, that Maxim air pump has gone down on me. Uh, it just went on the fritz. I don't know what's up with it. I think it's something to do with the lithium ion battery. It just started going crazy and beeping, beeping, beeping at me. And if I unplug it, the pump doesn't work even though it's plugged in. So I'm assuming it has something to do with that battery. Um, I spoke with JBJ. They're going to handle it for me, which I love. Uh, having good support is always uh, I, I include it to be as vital as the actual product being good because if I don't have good support, then it's a real big pain in the butt, as some people know, to get support on their products. So JBJ is taking care of it for me, so I'm going to take that back down, get it replaced out, and we'll get that back up and running. But in the meantime, we're going to get this on. Uh, we'll go get those fish and corals. I'm taking the kids down with me. We're going to go do a video at premium, show you what we have, show you what our uh, little setup is. And then we're going to go to the zoo, have some fun, swim, all that good stuff. So let's get to the AI Prime. Let's open it up and let's talk about it a little bit here. All right. So I've got it connected up here. Uh, I goofed and um, I've got... I've got the app here, got it all set up, it's turned off right now. I goofed and uh, accidentally hit it on and didn't realize. And then, um, so you can't tell apparently, if I turn this on, you can't tell that it's on right now, but it actually is. So let's turn it back off, that's really bright, insanely bright. But what I did then, because I didn't notice it, is I caused this. <laughs> I literally started burning this table. So note to self, you, when you have this on, do not just lay it down anywhere or you will <laughs> cause a lot of trouble. So let's get this set up just so you can see here. Uh, it is going to be bright. So we're going to turn this all on. 
So we can just turn them all on, we can just put it like this, uh, but we can go into schedule and we can start to schedule uh, this light and do what we wanna do. We can go into control and we tell it what it to do. We can set it to manual then and we can adjust each light of what we want to happen and you'll see it adjust accordingly on here. And what is actually really cool is up here, it's showing our power usage. So right now with what I've got set up, I'm using 16 watts. So that's actually really neat to see. So I don't know, let's uh, let's turn this all down or let's turn the UV all the way up. You can see what the UV looks like. Turn that back down. Let's turn the reds up. There's four of the reds. Turn that back down. We'll do the deep red. There's six there. And then lastly, but not least, cool white, which is towards the middle. And then if you look in the back here, actually, uh, maybe I can turn it like this, hopefully it doesn't, oh, actually we can, okay, great. So if we actually look in the back, we can adjust the spectral graph. It'll show you as you adjust these, what our spectral graph is gonna be looking like and where we're getting our peaks at. So right now my peak is highly down here uh, and just a little peak in the reds. So I can turn that up, adjust it as I see fit and make these adjustments accordingly to what spectrum we want and what we find best works for our setup. Again, what you utilize is completely up to you, personal preference, um, and then we can also do the auto and, and we can do the pre-setting that are already there. So then we can set our time. Uh, we have our different devices. We have our effects, uh, do weather, acclimation lunar. Um, you wouldn't obviously really do anything for this with it being uh, a refugium light, but for your tank lights, if you have the hydras, uh, you could utilize that and use, uh, set those up for the system as well and go in here. And I really actually like those. I think those are really cool to have. So uh, let's go back to control. Say so we start at 12, we add something, we're gonna do it right here. Then click on the check mark at 350. I wanna add another setup and we're gonna change the light to be here. Okay, we're going down further and we're just playing around here just to see what it does and then we'll put here. And then if we want to, then let's say at the end, add one more and we'll turn it all off. Now, what I can do is I can hit this little play button and it's gonna run through a demo of what happens. shows you the percentages of each LED channel. Uh, and that's really cool. This is awesome because it allows you to play with it and you can run the example on your tank, your sump, and show exactly how it's going to look over the course of a day, obviously sped up. So that's a really neat option to have. Uh, really cool that it shows you a percentage of each so you can get an idea of what exactly is going on. That way, if you wanna make tweaks, you can say, oh, well, you know what? I'd rather have deep red, just a little bit higher at 3 p.m. So let's go and adjust this. And then we can also go to easy setup and have it choose one for us and adjust accordingly. And this will see, as you can see, our 8 a.m. sunrise, 6 p.m. sunset. Uh, the ramp time is one minute or one hour, I should say. We can adjust all of this uh, to whatever we want to. It already has the program in there. We just set the sunrise, sunset, and ramp time of what we want. We can hit OK. Then again, if we hit the play button, it's going to go through the settings that we just set up on the easy setup. So that's what we have going on. That's really cool. Uh, this light is really nice, really tiny. I love how small it is, so it's not taking up a lot of room, not a lot of clutter. Obviously, like I said, we do have our fan here, uh, which will help keep the system cool as it's running. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it set up on the tank. I'm gonna play around with the settings on this just to figure out what works best for my algaes. And when I get those algaes, we'll go over what I have and uh, just kind of run down what maybe I have my setup so you can take a look at it as well. And uh, we'll get this on the system. Okay guys, your scientist is leaving for the day. I'm gonna go down to premium this weekend. We're gonna do another video uh, for next week on our shop and the goodies that I'm getting. So stay tuned, make sure to hit that bell for notifications so you stay the most up to date on this system as well as the other videos are coming out. We appreciate you stopping by. If you can like and subscribe the video, 
There are some new stuff that's happening. Uh, we are, if you head over to our Instagram, uh, there Morgan is doing some giveaways on Rod's Reef t-shirts that I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check them out. But we're giving them away. They're for you, they're for you. We're giving them away free of charge, free shipping, all the good deals. You just go over the Instagram, it'll tell you everything you need to do to get it set up. So go bug Morgan there, go try and win. We'd be happy to send you a shirt. The supplies on the shirt are limited. It's only gonna be going on for a little bit of time. Um, but we wanna give them away, we wanna share the love. So go over the Instagram, check that out, and uh, hopefully you can win a free t-shirt. So I will see you guys next week with another video. Have a great weekend. Relax, do some stuff, clean that tank. Peace.